Now, Urban Therapy with Sun, Sun752. This is your daily go get number 250 for January 12, 2015. Was it the 13th? Nah, it's the 12th. Check it out, y'all. Today, I want to talk about how you treat things, how you treat people, and how and what kind of effect that, that can have on a person. You know, when we younger, it's nothing like getting a new pair of sneakers, especially a pair of white sneakers. It didn't matter what it was, it could be a, a pair of shell tops, it could just be a pair of Nikes, it could be a pair of, we called them Nikes back in the day. You gotta say Nike now, but back then, we ain't say Nike, we just said Nikes. So a new pair of Nikes, or it could have been some, some top 10 Adidas, whatever, you know what I mean, some Pumas. But if they was the color white, we would do everything in our power to try to preserve the way they look. So we ain't want nobody, you know, getting too close to us to step on our sneakers. We ain't want to run ball in them. We ain't want to race nobody in those new, new sneakers. We took particular care to try to keep those sneakers looking as pristine as possible. And we went through a whole lot in order to make sure that that happened. Those sneakers said something about us. They didn't say that we had money. They didn't say that that um, we had a lot of friends. They didn't say that we had love in our lives. But what it said was that we knew how to take care of something. And it was symbolic of the way you were. You know, just because you dogged out a pair of sneakers and you were athletic, that didn't mean that you were wrong for doing that. But, you know, sometimes you have a pair of sneakers that you run, you run ball with and you have the other pair of sneakers that you just chill out, chill out with and look fly with. But the things that we try to take care of, like a pair of sneakers, it tells us a lot about the way we conduct ourselves in our personal lives, in our personal relationships. You know, if you got a nice sweater, you try to, you try to protect the buttons on them. You know, if you, you get a new piece of furniture, you want to make sure that nobody nick and scratch it when you're trying to move it to the place that you're trying to move it. And if they get a nick or scratch in it, you're going to catch an attitude instantly. You might take it back to the place that you got it so you get a new one that don't have no marks or blemishes on it. Same thing with a new car. You get a new car, you want to make sure that that car don't, don't have no dents, no scratches, no nothing. And if somebody, you know, slam your door or, or, or they get too close to your car, they sit on your car, or kids are throwing a, a baseball or, or a football near your, your ride, you might, you know, tell them, no, take that down the street or go to the park with that. Because you don't want nobody messing up your car. Because you know that's going to make you feel bad, and it's going to have to, and it's going to um, cost you some money in order to get it back to what, to the condition that you bought it in. But what if we treated our people like that? Do we treat the people in our lives like that? Do we treat them like they are special? Like like we don't want nobody to nick or scratch them, or or you know, do we protect them to the letter? Do we make sure? that nobody gets close to them in, in order to harm them. And I'm not talking about, you know, following behind them all the time and monitoring everything that they do. But do we treat the people in our lives like they're precious? Maybe sometimes we do, and maybe sometimes we don't. But if we can take care of a pair of white sneakers to make sure that they don't get scuffed up or stepped on or dirty in any kind of way, and if they do, if they even if they get a little bit of dirt on them, we taking them back you know, to the crib and you might get the toothbrush out and the cleanser or whatever how, whatever you use to make sure that they get back right. Do we do that with our loved ones? Do we make sure that they know that we're going to be there for them through thick and thin no matter whatever happens? You know what I mean, maybe sometimes we do or maybe sometimes we don't. Where we run into problems sometimes is that we may start off treating them like that and then maybe somewhere down the line we don't treat them as special as we treated them when we was first treating them the right way. So think about that, man. Any any of those material things in your life, do they really define who you are? Do they do they tell the world what kind of person that you are? And if they do, you probably need to really check yourself because when all of the material items are gone and the money, the relationships that you have formed and cultivated are the things that are going to sustain you because they're going to be the people that help you get back on your feet and get those material items back. But it's the love, respect, and admiration that gets you where you want to be 
and that's where you want to stay. So I just wanted to drop that on y'all for the day, man. It's Friday. It's hot out here, but uh, the wind is starting to blow. It's not bad out here, man. We out here, I don't even know what you would call this 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 area that we in. It's not a war zone. They actually, we actually have a little bit of greenery growing around here. It all looks like weeds, but we have some pretty good soil over there. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and treat the people in your life like they're precious. Treat them like you would a brand new pair of white sneakers. It's, it's ironic that I, don't, I have on black sneakers today, but that's probably a good thing because we out here in the jungle or whatever. And you know what I mean? I don't want to be getting my, you know, my white joints you know, all scuffed up or whatever because I got to protect my white sneakers like they a pair of white sneakers. Messing around with y'all, man. But for real, for real. Treat the people in your life like you love them. You know, treat them like a pair of brand new white sneakers. You know them jaws be glistening. Yo. The Urban Therapy with Sun Spring Cleaning event. The last spring cleaning event of the spring before we go into the summer. is next Saturday, June 20th. The day before Father's Day. So I want all y'all fathers to come in. Get y'all get y'all work out on me. And do the things that you're supposed to do out here. You know what I'm saying? Make it happen. Come out, meet some new people. Bond with them. Get your exercise in with them. I messed that up. Anyway, yo, next Saturday it's going down. 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. West Hicken Avenue and Rittenhouse Street. We did it two times already. We're going to do it a third time. And then we're going to do it another time in July. And then August. We're going to do it till, till we can't do it no more, man. Till, till people be like, yeah, it's too cold, son. It's too cold. I ain't trying to go out there. And we still going to have some people that we want to go. It'll just be the fall the fall cleaning and the winter, winter time joint. So that's how it's going down, man. I want y'all to have a great day. Have a great weekend. And um, remember, go to UrbanTherapyWithSun.com, man. Register with that with that website. Get it in. And always listen to the Daily go get show each and every day, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call in number 347-677-1533. And that's how it's going down. Treat them people that you love like a pair of white sneakers. They deserve that. I got some work to do, you know what I mean? I got some work to do. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll let you know.